That building right there, that's where I'm tucked in. Right between all those buildings, that brown one. So I'm walking out to the Emperor's Garden. So there's a story where the Friedrich Rebbe went with his father, the Rebbe Shab, and he said, um, he, he wanted to sit in the Kaiser, he paid off the guard to sit in the Kaiser's seat where the Kaiser would sit during uh, his um, s stay uh, 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 of, of sorts, like, uh, you know, one of the gardens, this is from the New Year's, it's one of these, like, it's a good luck charm, it's all over the place, especially in an industrial area, right? So, beautiful glass, so he, uh, and the Friedrich Rebbe spoke to the guard, got the, got the Rebbe Shabin, he sat down, he said he wrote some chassidus from the vantage point of, uh, you know, of, of sitting in the king's seat. Let's, let, that's the exact story. Um, imagine bowing good morning in New York City to the construction workers, like, you know, this whole atmosphere of respect, like, they would never whistle at a girl, you know, or, or a, Look at these fire trucks as they clean, nice. Anyway, here's the emperor's uh, palace, and people are jogging around uh, for uh, that's what they do in the morning. They jog around. They do it's uh, they do sport. So I'm gonna go that way, I guess, or that way. Which way is better? So he basically, sitting in the Tsar's seat, sometimes he says he had an opening in his mind because he was in a level of whatever. Just a side note, I think in the Titus of Rahman of Breslov, he says there are certain Tfilis and certain Titus that only a rich man could understand and say. The Tfilis say and the Titus understand. But I think if you would go jogging like these guys seriously in the morning, the way they're dressed, serious garb, I have a feeling that that would also you could use that as a way to say there are certain parts of Chassidus or Torah that only a guy who gets out of his bed in the morning and goes running could understand. It's royal, royal gardens here. So anyway, um, next story, which is uh, here, I'm going to relate it is. Um, It's like this. So when the Tsar was overthrown by the Bolsheviks, many of them Jews, Yiddish speaking, when I was in Shlichus in Minsk, there was a small museum, monument museum of the Bolshevik Revolution.